Hey everybody, happy Monday. This is Ashleen Kaino, that metaphysical chick. And um, we are here today with our live taroscope reading. So just give me one moment to share my video out as usual, and then we will kick this off. So almost done. It's gonna be an easier way to do this, right? Facebook, get with it. Okay. There we go, we're sharing. All right, so let's tune into the collective energy for today to kick off this week and see what messages want to come through. And of course, if you guys are interested in a private reading, the link is in the description. I have many people sending me messages every day, like, how do I book a private reading? And the link is always right here in the videos, you guys, okay? So, and they start from like as little as $18. Seriously, like it's so cheap and I give you so much information in the readings. Um, okay. so. Let's tune in to the energy for today. So we have the Five of Fire, Unity, and the Queen of Fire. So a lot of fire energy today. Quite Monday energy, actually. <laughs> well, you could think of Monday energy as like it's lethargic and I don't want to go back to work, but at the same time, it can kind of be like, oh, Monday like feeling that fiery passion for it. Okay, so let's have a look here. We have the five of fire, which says competing goals, bothersome details, conflicts with others. So this is suggesting that there's some kind of energy in the air today of feeling conflicted. This could be um, feeling conflicted about a matter on the inside. You're feeling pulled multiple different directions about what to do with your life or maybe different people or what to do to go with that person, to not go with them. Um, but it can also be a conflict on the outside. Maybe there's like a literal conflicts going on between you and a family member, you and someone else and it's something that's still hanging over you and needs result either way there's some kind of sense of a conflict going on even a competition so perhaps you're competing for something and the cool thing about this card is that there are five wands here um, in the traditional tarot that shows five men with sticks and it's like it's a competition but they're all on a level playing field so the message to you is if you feel like you're competing for something you've got just as even chance as anyone else okay like no one else is more no one's got more of an advantage than you but truthfully for me this energy is really feeling like some kind of inner conflict in life right now, something that you're like, ah, oh, I'm being pulled in multiple different directions. Okay, but then we have unity. So this card for me is about being the peacemaker. It's about having faith. So if you're feeling some kind of inner conflict, you don't know what direction to go, you're being pulled multiple different directions, unity can really suggest to you like, look, just surrender to the universe, lean into your faith, whatever you believe in, and just trust that whatever decision you make is the right one for you. Rather than being afraid of perhaps making a decision, um, you could just feel like you're being spread over all over the place, like your energy is everywhere and you wanna just focus on one thing. So it's just saying, look, just turn within, listen to your inner guidance, take some time out, meditate, listen to your higher self, and you will get the right, you'll make the right choice, okay? That's what I'm hearing. By the way, I'm like loaded with a head cold. Um, but it's basically saying here, traditional viewpoints are methods, spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Again, conflicts. Maybe you're starting to have conflicts with the people or circles you're associating yourself with. Um, maybe it's time to start finding people who are more like-minded, meaning once you're going down this spiritual rabbit hole, you may find that a lot of people don't really get you anymore. Um, conversations aren't really fulfilling you anymore. They're more surface level rather than like deep and introspective and conversations about growth. So it could be a similar thing here. Maybe you're feeling like, oh, no one really gets me. Maybe I should start like looking at new groups, new organizations, going to yoga, finding metaphysical groups, whatever it is. You're being told to start surrounding yourself more with the people who will inspire you to grow into the person you're feeling you're becoming and who you want to become. There's a saying of, you know, you're the us, the average of the five people you spend most time with. So if you're spending time with people who don't really like level themselves up or their energy isn't that great, well, you're basically the average of that group. Whereas if you're like surrounding yourself with five people who are like, you feel way superior in like their spiritual growth or whatever it is, that's gonna really inspire your growth and for you to grow and catch up with them. So that's one way of looking at it, like choose who you're surrounding yourself with, be conscious about it because right now there's conflicts going on um, or an inner conflict going on about making these choices. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so loaded. Um, oh, yeah, we're getting a green going on in the chat here. Woohoo! Alrighty, so then we got the Queen of Fire. And I like this because she's a bit of a fucking badass, right? So it says here, confident, warm, independent, graceful. She don't give a shit. All right. Um, but in a very passionate and beautiful, empowered way, it says stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. The more I dial into this reading, the more it really feels like finding your people, finding your tribe and like not being afraid to do it. The Queen of Fire is a very independent person. We have other queens in the deck, and like the Queen of Water, she's very much about like um, her emotions and love and romance and that kind of thing. And the Queen of Swords is a lot more like she'll cut you out, like she just doesn't take any shit either. But this Queen of Fire, she's very about listening to her heart, listening to her passions, and um, following her inner guidance, and really unleashing her courage, like. This is all about your fire and your passion and your heart. And that's where courage comes from. Cour, cour is French for heart, in case you don't know that. Courage. All right. So she's really just like, look, I know what I want and I'm not afraid to like go after it. She has the confidence to do it. So even if you're feeling like you want to try something new, you're conflicted about it, some kind of opportunities come up, whatever it is, or other people around you, it's saying here, have the courage to do what you need to do. Have the courage to be that anomaly, that one person that steps out and goes after what they want. That one person who decides to go out and find their tribe or to step away from the current people you're associating with. Whatever it is, it's saying go for it. But at the same time, She's graceful. She's not doing this in a way that's kind of like, screw you guys, home. You know, it's just like going on, doing her thing, elevating herself. She's saying it's time for me to really up level myself. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't be afraid to unleash your passion, your creativity. Maybe you think others are going to laugh at you for your creative projects. It doesn't matter. One of the best things I was told whenever I started becoming an entrepreneur is their opinions do not pay your bills. Okay? Other people's opinions do not pay your bills. Don't give a crap what anyone thinks about what you're doing. You follow your heart and do what makes you happy. End of, okay? So the message today is really unleash your inner queen of fire. She wants to come out. So that'll help let go and kill this conflict. Leaning into your faith, unity, surrounding yourself with more like-minded people, and just going after it and not being afraid. Okay? You deserve it. Simple as that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bunged up. All right, so I wanted to do some oracles. So I want to see what our ascended masters have to say about this energy. If there's any added messages that want to come out here. I actually never use this deck for my live readings, and it's actually one of my favorite decks that I use personally. Okay, so we've got see the other person's point of view. Oh, how interesting. This so is about an interaction with another person or others, pe other people. So... If you feel like there's a conflict going on with someone else and you feel you're right, and like you may as well, you might be right, okay? If you're feeling like you're outgrowing people or people aren't getting you, that's fine. But what's one of the messages that comes out here with the Queen of Fire, right? Graceful, right? It doesn't mean you have to actually like really get into a fight. You can know what you want, but you can also see the other person's point of view and come to an understanding. Doesn't mean you need to like change your opinion or stop what you want to do. You can see their point of view and be like, okay, thank you. I appreciate your opinion, but I'm still going to move forward because I'm a confident badass and I want to do this. So it's just letting you know, like it's not all or nothing in the sense of blocking everyone out. We can still listen to their feedback, their guidance, their advice. And be graceful and say thank you. I appreciate your opinion. End of. Doesn't mean you have to take it on board, okay? So there's no need to really get into fights. Another message there is, you know, practice your spirituality here. Put it into practice what you're learning. Practice what you preach. If there's some kind of conflict going on here, are we going to lower ourselves? Or are we going to actually approach it from this higher perspective of thank you for your opinion rather than, well, screw you for your opinion? All right transcend yourself level up put your spiritual practice here into like you know walk the walk now not just talk the talk so that's a message that's really strongly coming out here <clears throat> and then let's get an angel card also vacuum away fear that's exactly what this lady's doing isn't it so it's saying call upon archangel michael or archangels, Michael and Raphael, to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved. So there's definitely 
some kind of conflict and fear going on almost like you feel like you can't step out and be yourself and if you do then all hell is going to break loose so you have to call upon your angels right now to release this fear so you can just really stretch your wings be independent and go after what makes you happy and at the same time be graceful enough to like not offend other people but still be strong enough to stand your ground when it comes to your own opinion and what you want to do with your life Awesome. Okay, final one. Let's pull an affirmation card to wrap this up. Okay. Good morning to you all. You're all so kind. Okay, affirmation for today. It says, if we can see it. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will be always I will always be guided back to the light. So I love that. It's exactly what's coming out here. It's like no matter what's going on, if we just like tune into our higher selves and try to approach these situations from a place of our higher learning, then we can always like keep the light in the situation. We don't have to drag it down to the darkness, drag it down to a lower level. You know, be graceful. Thank you and continue on in your journey. No need to get into it. No need to have fights. Keep on your spiritual path. Acknowledge other people's opinions, but keep it in the light. Simple as that. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's tarot scope, and I look forward to bringing your tarot scope tomorrow. Bye.